Now, recently, the Ghana Music Awards UK was held, and two of Media General's very own, Kenneth Addo, who's a group head of marketing, as well as Daniel Oklutete, were there to witnesses. And they came back with some really interesting news. Now, they hang out with a few of the celebrities, Ghanaian celebrities in the UK, and so we get to find out all about it, where they hang out, and how much fun they have. So take a look at this. From the Barking Street, somewhere in London, uh, this is where we start off with the episodes in UK. And this is where we're talking about lifestyle and people who live right here in the UK. When celebrities come to uh, the Europe or UK, uh, there are some places that they look out for uh, food. Like they say in the Akan adage, if you if you if you and that's what it is. So people come into Julie Nest restaurant and bar. So we'll get in there and find out the experience and try to compare the dishes, uh, what was or how it is done in Ghana and how it is done here. Let's see how the feeling is like. So we're moving now, courtesy travel desk GH, and of course, uh, officer bitters. That's what I'm talking about. If you're eating or you need good food or you want to enjoy your meal proper, then it's officer bitters. We're stepping now and find out the feeling from the celebrities who have come in here. Africa, take me to my motherland. The man, Alodia is right here. Alodia Promotions is here. He has enjoying some. Alodia, what are you having? I had Omotu, Omotu. Omotu? Yes. Okay, beautiful. And is it comparable to what we have in Ghana? Well, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it is, it okay. is, yeah. All right. Amen and the Dusty is also here. Um, I can see a glass in front of him, but I don't know what Andy is going to have. Andy, what food are you going to have? Oh, come on, man. Which question is this? You know where I'm coming from? Osekro. That's what's up. So what else? Fufu. I'm the, I'm the lord of Fufu. <laughs> so... So I'll come back to you to find out if you really enjoyed it, like the one you have back home. I know you like your day home. Don't, don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was Andy Dusty right there. I love your promotions right there. And my big sister right here, Shega. Shega, Hi. I don't see anything in front of you. Um, oh, I finished eating. What did you have? Omutu or egg was late, Charlie. Omutu and what soup? Yeah, the par, groundnut soup with some beans, meat and fish. Wow, Charlie, wow. I'm, 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 I'm really surprised because I didn't expect it to be like this. Okay. Yeah, the par, I said, we did it with Ghana. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. That's a good endorsement right there. So, yes, as part of the episodes we're talking about, lifestyle, food is very important. So, we're moving now and uh, talk to some other Bridging right here. Creamy is here. He's enjoying himself too much. I don't know what he's eating, but yes, we'll find out more about that later. Bless Chocho Mucho. I didn't catch him yesterday, but today is here. What are you eating, Bless? As you can see, I only have water in front of me and I have officer. Okay. Yes, okay. So for now, this you is are waiting for. <laughs> what are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? I asked for um, plain rice and soup, but they say. I think there's no plain rice and soup, so anything they bring me, I'll just take it. I take a one is on a fufu and what? Fufu and some wicked light soup and some nye nye meat. Fear what? UK light soup? Yeah, UK light soup and... <laughs> how, how is UK light soup like? That is bad. Me and the few say I did Ghana self, because the Ghanaian restaurant with them, they around here, Charlie. They're the, they're the first. Yeah, they're happy. They're happy. All right. I don't want to make you ask me plenty questions. Okay, yet, enjoy, Charlie. enjoy, enjoy. So, Baba is served there, yeah? Uh, quite many MPs here, also eating fufu and yeah. what? Fufu and some plenty things, goat and some. Goat and liver. Yes, yes. Is, okay, is it like the Mankasim one? Mankasim one? The Mankasim one will be different. <laughs> one be hardest, but this be hard. Mm. You Actually, don't... no, I expect say, we'll be get food for London, where fufu will be nice. Where your music too, they play for bad. See you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See. So everything set. You understand. Yeah. My Enjoy. first time for UK. Yeah. My first time at the shop for you. You do feel home, man. My food is so. Mm -hmm. But this guy, they watch and say, no. We enter. We try up. We enter. <laughs> yes, keep the love coming in. Don't worry. Anytime you come into the UK, there is good food for you. Um, original, traditional, conventional Ghanaian food for you in the UK. So you don't have to worry at all. Inside Julie Ness Restaurant and Bar. 
Mr. Creamy is uh, parasiting Mr. somebody's. Mr. Drew, why you always they change my name? Mr. Drew. Mr. Drew. <laughs> Mr. Drew. Yes. What's up? What's up? You did parasite somebody. Oh no, MP be my brother, so you understand. <laughs> so we are parasites. Oh, they, they, they. We are parasites. Me try, me, me test you. If you be parasite, like you be which animal? Okoto. Okoto, they do the parasite. Okoto, they do the parasite. That was Mr. Drew. I'm getting to talk to Sister Fia finally. I've been waiting to talk to her for a very long time. Me nyani wakana, me bechini wo you came on. Bibi aboko. Nyamiado. Oye okay. Yes, sir. Ebi ani. Eh, ebi ani na u dini na wabo dark no. You dark man. You be see a show. We want to see your your face. Me wo she. Wow. She can't see anything. But. Where are they from? Any? Where are they from? Any? I can't see anything, but she can see the food. Yeah. It means the food is good, right. and it's happening right here. So don't get it twisted. We're bringing you more. It's all about the episodes in the UK, celebrities and how they enjoy any time they come here. Food is good. Food is good. Creamy, are we finished eating? I'm not done. I've, I've not even started. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for Omuchu and goat meat. When you meet there, Joe. Are you also Wagana now? Charlie, I had the chance to meet Wagana. When I came, the love and everything, Charlie Ghanaian, if we come together, it will be something different. Yeah. And I love it that we're using music. It's just incredible. Music is food for the soul, yeah. and so food is good. Let's eat. Let's see. He's enjoying Baku and Tilapia. It's Baku and Tilapia, and nothing else, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying the meal? Very. Okay, so tell me more. Yeah, yeah I'm from Ghana. Okay, where in Ghana? Kaswa. <laughs> Kaswa is a mixed town. Kaswa is a is a settlement. Yeah. So where do you come from actually? Uh, okay. Um Ekumfi. Ekumfi. So say something in your language and tell something to your friends and family back home. Okay. Um uh, my Gloria. <laughs> my field. <laughs> And to all my friends, uh, I'm a Now very soon, I'm a Ghana. Now I'm a Kamu. What do you like to eat most of the time? What Ghanaian food do you like to eat most of the time when you are in London? I just love rice. Just rice. Rice? Yeah, rice is my favorite. Oh, okay. It means you don't miss any food back home in Ghana. Only this food, though. Yeah. Yeah, Benguet and Tilapia. Okay. All right. So she misses Banku and Tilapia, and so she makes sure she enjoys that anytime she's in London, right here. And that's Abba, all the way from Ekunfi in the Central Region. Thank you so much, and enjoy your meal. Thank you. All right. Uh, what are you having? What are you eating today? Um, I didn't eat yet, but I'll eat um. Yam and fish. Yam and fish. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Yam and fish. Yeah, like what that. kind of fish? Tilapia. Uh, boiled yam, fried yam? No, fried yam. Fried yam and tilapia. Yeah. Wow. Is that what you've always been eating in Kumasi? No. When I go to Kumasi, I, I eat wache uh, wat and chinkafa. Wache and chinkafa. That's beautiful. So Nana Yako likes wache and chinkafa. And then kontomre and then apem. That's what I'm talking about. Go to Marina Pim. How long has this setup been? This whole restaurant? Um, it's about that's a, a month ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Just a month. Just a month. Yeah. What idea? What 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 pushed you to come and do this here? You know, when you when you see around here, you go back in that time. We don't have any Ghanaian restaurant around here. So it comes to my mind between um, wedding and party food and. It comes to my mind that we don't have something around here, so we have to set up something for Ghana community. Okay. How long have you been here? What did you say? How long have you been in, 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 in this country? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's say 19 years. 19? Wow, that's great. So 19 years of being in this country, just a month ago, he decided to set up a Ghanaian restaurant. How has the feedback been for you? How has the response been for you? Oh, so good. Uh, to be honest, I haven't got any negative or any bad feedback. You know, good because you were expecting something. 
Yeah, and now they have it. So they are, everybody's happy, they're enjoying the food, the drinks, service, and the environment. Okay, so let's speak of this upon just joins us. Okay, what food did you have? Omutu, uh -huh. and Ghana soup. <laughs> just like Ghana. Ah, uh, okay. I feel like I'm in Ghana already. Because Ernest here, let's speak of his upon here, just enjoying Omutu and Ghana soup. What would you like to tell him? He's the owner of the place. Yes, uh, I've known him for about 10 years now. Wow. In fact, last year, he hosted me in his house. And it was a lot of variety of food he made for me. On my birthday, 22nd of October last year. So I know what he can do. And my prayer that day was, when you my granina, Papa will to me, you know, will be a me. And remember, I remember, I remember the right, you know. And I remember, I could be a lost on me. Ghana. Ah. Because Ghana KFC, you know. Wow, Ghana KFC. And that's a huge endorsement there from the man SP Coffee Support. So it's my time for me to also enjoy and have a taste of the food. Yes, so I can confirm and I tell you the fact that when you come to London, when you come to the UK, there is no food for you to enjoy.